Welcome back to RedHeart.com as well as the Crochet Crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we're going to explore the cross stitch square. Now this is a stitch that I've never ever seen before and as a stitch I really really come to like. I'm actually really surprised by this stitch actually worked. <laughs> it's not something that I would have ever expected in my mind. So what happens is that we're uh, double crocheting basically and just one every now every now and then one just crosses over. So it's not like it's a crisscross. One is just moving over just like so and it is really really easy. Um, so today let's explore this. This is part of Stitchcation, an Afghan sampler project that I'm teaching you to do different stitches. There are 10 different kinds of stitches within this Afghan and I'm telling you this one was one of my favorites. So let's begin. We're going to create a slip knot and in the pattern it calls for a 3.75 millimeter or size A F crochet hook. Stitchcation I used a 5 millimeter size I with Red Heart Super Saver and then of course this one here I'm using a 6 or size J and it's for tutorial purposes. I'm just being able to really show you how these stitches are working together. Just make sure that you, this pattern is basically easy to do. You can substitute the yarn and the hook as long as they complement each other. So let's uh, begin. Remember that the slip knot never counts as one and we're going to uh, go all the way to 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and please um, chain all the way to 36 and I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay, now that you have your 36, we're going to single crochet all the way across this chain. So what we have to do is that we have to go second chain from the hook. So we have one and two and we simply turn the chain around and get the back loop only that is sticking out the back. It's like a hump. It's like the top of a sea serpent and basically you are going to use that uh, loop all the way across. So once you turn it over you can see that the back loops are just popping out and it's really quick and easy. So please just single crochet on the back loops uh, of your chain going all the way back to the beginning. Okay we've come all the way to the beginning and now we're going to turn our work and we're going to start doing the cross stitch element right away. Unlike some of the other stitchcation afghans where we have to build up layers in order to start, this one is not one of them. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain three, one, two, three and this counts as a double crochet in the rules of crochet. We are going to skip the first stitch and we are going to double crochet into the next two. Okay? So it's just very easy. So just that. And this is where it gets a little more interesting because it's the way that you access it is slightly different than what I'm used to. So we have to come back to the stitch that we skipped. So in order to do this we have to wrap first and we have to come back and come in to the gapping space and pop the hook out through the front. So I basically see how I went into that gap and then just popped it through to the stitch and then we double crochet. And this one here is the cross that was leaning over. So we immediately skip the first next stitch and then we just go into the second for a double crochet. Just like this. So the next two are double crochets and then we have to come back to the stitch again. So we just wrap, come out through into the gap space, out through the front, wrap and then pull through and do your regular double crochets. So again, so restart, we skip the first one, double crochet into the next two. Okay and then we come back to the stitch that we skipped come into the gapping out through the front. Double crochet. So that double crochet forces itself to turn over onto an angle as a result of, of just basically crossing over the other two that you see. And this is how you simply just do the cross stitch um, for the stitchcation afghan just like so. And basically it looks absolutely amazing. If you change its color it's amazing. I really really enjoyed the stitch and it's not something that I thought would ever be possible because I figured it would be out of balance but in actual fact it's in balance and it looks amazing. We continue just to cross stitch ourselves across very easily and when we come back I'll be at the end of the row and I'll show you what to do next because we only are going to cross stitch on every other row. We're not cross stitching every row um, and you'll notice that when you do this all of the cross stitching will appear on one side and there will be nothing like that on the back. So let's, uh, I'll meet you at the end of the line and I'll show you what to do next. 
So I'm just finishing up uh, the row here and I'm just doing my two double crochets in a row and then I'm doing my cross and if your math is done right you should end up with one single uh, stitch left and mine is right and I have one left and it's just a double crochet like this. And so basically I've done my cross stitching all the way across and now I'm just trying to uh, this time just chain or turn your work chain one and then just single crochet all the way across. Okay and this really does a great job of locking those stitches that makes it in balance. You'll see that it's a lot more consistent looking once you do the single crochet across and then the next row when we come back we're going to start the cross stitching again just like what you've seen. There's nothing more more fancy. This is as fancy as it gets and you can change the colors as often as you want to and it looks absolutely amazing. It's an actually a new favorite stitch of mine that I didn't even know existed until this point. So I'll meet you back at the end of the line. I'm coming all the way across. Don't forget you need to go into the top of the beginning chain three in order to keep this in balance. So we're going to turn our work now and we're going to see. So you have the cross stitch going over you have the singles in which kind of calm down the cross but now it's time to do the cross stitching once again. So to begin it's just like what, what you already know so it's chain three that counts as a double crochet. We're going to skip the next uh, stitch and double crochet into the next two. Just like there and then I wanted to do that cross so I want to wrap and pop it out through the, the stitch just there and start again. So we skip one, double crochet into the next two. Okay and then we come back to the stitch that we skipped out like so. So you really do find your rhythm. I really enjoyed this stitch and I hope that this is a new favorite of yours as well. If not you know there's, there's probably hundreds if not thousands of different ways to crochet that you know all of us kind of find uh, ways that are stitches that we personally like and it makes it a lot more enjoyable when you have a stitch that is your go-to. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of RedHeart.com as well as the Crochet Crowd. Stay tuned for more free ideas, patterns and whatever else we have to offer. Until next time we'll see ya. Thank you.